Hello, my loves. Hello. Welcome to a new ASMR Reiki session. Today's session has been requested by a couple of you, and I'll put your comments here on the screen. So as you can see from the title of today's video, we'll be working with grief and loss. And in specific, today we'll be working on um, working through the loss of a person or a pet that passed over. There's obviously different types of grief. You can grief a part of yourself a past part of yourself, so to say, you can grieve a past relationship, but in today's video in specific, we'll be focusing on someone who passed over to the other side. I also want to mention that I'm not a licensed therapist. As I've mentioned in a different video, I do have a background in psychology. Um, I have a master's degree in criminology, and I took some elective classes on counseling. Um, but if you feel like the emotions of grief are very overwhelming at this point, I do recommend you to go look for professional help through a counselor or a psychologist or just someone that you can talk to, someone that can help you work through the emotions that you're going through right now and help you by giving you tools to work through them. Um, today's session, we will be focusing on increasing our capacity to hold our emotions. So, the aim of today's video is not to take away the pain of the loss, um, I think even if I could take the pain away, I wouldn't do it because there's a lot of wisdom that comes with pain and even though it's very uncomfortable, it is a very normal part of the human experience and yes, even though it's uncomfortable, I wouldn't want to take that away from someone. So the session today was actually inspired by an Instagram post um, that I saw recently where they explained that basically when you lose someone, the pain of that loss doesn't go away, it remains the same, but your capacity to be able to hold that pain and to create a container for that pain increases so that you're able to carry the pain better, if that makes sense. So the session for today, what we're doing, a guided visualization, is inspired by that post. I do want to mention one more thing, and if you want to skip the intro, because I can sense that it's going to be a bit of a longer intro, if you want to skip the intro, you can hover over the timeline here underneath. Um, once you hover over it, you'll see different chapters, and you can just skip forward to the actual visualization, um, but I felt really called to share a little bit more for those of you who need a little bit of extra comfort um, if you are dealing with loss and you're going through the process of grieving them. Um, I lost my grandpa as well last year in April, and so I can relate to the process of coming to terms with the fact that a person is no longer here physically. Um, I think something that really helped me and that I wanted to share with you guys is that being able to reframe the concept of death is actually really, really helpful. Um, a couple of years ago, I went through a <laughs> massive phase where I was just really interested in near-death experiences and all my free time I would watch documentaries on it and videos and I would really recommend that you check out the channel 
here on YouTube made by Anthony Sheen. He makes these beautiful videos where people um, share their experience of their near death um, and having that knowledge before my grandpa passed away really helped because it took away my fear of death. It reframed the idea of death because in our society, at least in the Western society, some cultures have different views on death, but especially in the Western society, we see death as the end of a road. Whereas in reality, death is just a door through which we step through to a different chapter. It's a transition from the physical back into the spirit. Um, and approaching death yeah, from that standpoint, in that way, it made it easier for me to process um, the loss of my grandpa because I could sense that he was still here along with me, just not in physical form, and that gave me a lot of comfort, and it still gives me a lot of comfort. Um, so, this is something that is very new to you. Um, I highly suggest you look into it. Some cultures around the world even have the practice of sitting with the concept of death and contemplating death and it's something that we in our Western society don't really look at. It's not per se a taboo subject but it's just something that we kind of push away and we live in this bubble thinking that we're gonna live forever or I mean, we know that we won't live forever, but we're not willing to look at exactly how temporary our life here on Earth is. And contemplating death and your own death and everything surrounding it, life, death, it really helps to put things in perspective. So, I just wanted to mention that for anyone who needed to hear that and for anyone um, who will be beneficial for it. So, let's get into our Reiki session. So, as I mentioned, it's going to be a guided visualization and we will be working on increasing your capacity to hold your pain. Um, and to represent this, I have this beautiful vessel here with me um, which we'll be working on later in the session but I just wanted to show you guys this um, yeah so let's first start by prepping the space around us the energy around us I have brought in my rattle which, very funnily, has a snake on it which is all about transformation, by the way, if you didn't know so, today's video won't have any loud sounds except for this little rattle so, take a moment just sit down land in your body and bring your attention to the sound of the rattle allow your mind to be drawn into the sound allow yourself to get lost in it Focusing on the sound of the rattle, allow everything from today to fall away. Just 
Just imagine it dropping from your aura. Just like taking off a heavy backpack or a heavy winter coat. We're going to go a little bit deeper now with the rattle. Allow some of that movement of energy to come in already. crystals today as well to guide us, to help harmonize the energies. So, to prime our field, I have a chunk of raw rose quartz and if you're new to crystals, Rose quartz is, I would say, the mother of all crystals. It has a very universal love, cosmic love kind of energy to it. The birds outside are going crazy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so just connect in with the rose quartz. Tune into its frequency. And allow it to penetrate your aura. Just imagine a very soft and fresh rosy mist enveloping you. Soothing any surface anxieties that you have. Helping to tune your energy back into the universal love that is all around you. Okay. Going to move it now through your aura. Going from the top of your head all the way down to your feet. side of your body and the other side okay. and then I also brought in two crystals that you can hold during the session to help you ground your energy field into specific frequencies so, first off, we have phosphosiderite, which is a very calming stone. So, again, allow yourself to connect in with the crystal. I will be giving this to your right hand. Oops. Yep, just hold on to it, that's good. Okay. And then we have Angelite, which, as the name suggests, helps you connect to your angels. 
but also people who have passed over to the other side. And this crystal as well is a very sort of gentle and soft um, crystal in its energies. So definitely not overpowering, it's very gentle. So allow this crystal to help you, to assist you in connecting with your loved ones if you want to, who have passed over. And I'm going to give this to your left hand to hold. Okay. So, before we get on to the visualization, I want to take some time to bring extra attention to your heart chakra and your crown. Heart chakra is where a lot of our emotions are stored and come from. Crown chakra is through where we connect in to the divine. If you watched any of my previous videos, you know that I like to visualize the crown chakra as our satellite dish, which helps us connect out to everything beyond us, everything beyond the sight of our eyes, quite literally. So, I'll be taking some time first with the crown chakra. I'm just gonna have my hands hovering just above your head and sending some Reiki energy towards it. And I'm just focusing on very gently opening the crown chakra. So if you want to, if you are having a hard time feeling the opening of your crown chakra, you could imagine a lotus flower opening up, just one petal at a time opening itself up. Okay. So I'm going to take one of my solenoid ones here and use it to further help in that opening process. If this is your crown chakra, I'm just going to stir it very gently. to help the natural flow of energy in that chakra. So, chakra stands actually for spinning wheel of energy, spinning ball of energy. So, in a natural and harmonious state, your chakra has actually energy moving through it. So, I'm just using the solenoid wand to help with that movement. Okay. And then the other chakra we're going to focus on is your heart, which is located in the middle of your chest right here. So I'm just going to have my hands just in front of your chest here. And again, sending Reiki energy to it. Sometimes at first it might feel like there's a lot of stirring happening, there's a lot of movement happening, which can feel a little bit uncomfortable sometimes at first, so that's totally normal. But normally, over time, that sensation will settle, and you'll start to feel a more sort of opening and expansive kind of sensation. I'm going to use my cylinder wand here as well. 
to help open up your heart chakra, help with the flow, the energy. The birds are going really wild right now. <laughs> I swear to God, every time I start filming, they just start chatting like crazy. Okay. We're almost there with your heart chakra. Okay, that's good. So now that we have prepared you energetically energetically for the visualization ahead I want you to take some time to become really aware of your breath Allow the air to be pulled deeper into your lungs Imagine that you could send the air all the way to your tippy toes and to the tips of your fingers. And then as you continue to breathe deeply, draw your attention to your sternum, your breastbone. Notice the space just behind your sternum. This is where your heart chakra is located. And just start feeling into that space. Notice if you can feel any particular sensations. And just allow those sensations to be what they are. You don't have to change them. They don't have to be different. Just imagine creating space for them. And then now, with your eyes closed, imagine a vase or a vessel in front of you. This vessel can look whatever you want it to look like. It can be made from whatever materials you prefer. And once you have this vessel out in front of you, imagine your heart chakra opening up and any of those sensations that you're feeling are being poured into the vessel. Allow these sensations to drain out of your body and into the vessel pouring 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 out of your body until the vessel is completely filled to the top Now, I want you to put both hands on the vessel in front of you and with the magic 
magic of your own mind, imagine the vessel growing in size. And maybe at first, it only expands out a millimeter or two. But slowly and surely, the vessel grows. Allow it to grow and grow, expanding outwards and outwards. Until the emotions that you have previously poured into it are now only filling the vessel halfway. And even though this vessel seems to be outside of your body, it is still intrinsically connected to you. You can still feel everything that is in this vessel. And just feel what it feels like now to have a vessel that is only halfway filled. Notice the space that it has created for your emotions and the sensations that you are feeling. Notice how these emotions have more freedom of movement right now more freedom to be. So now that we have expanded your vessel, I want you to imagine an altar in front of you. And again, this altar can be whatever you want it to be. It can be as big or as small as you want it to be. If you want to, you can put a picture down of your loved one onto the altar and maybe some of the items that remind you of them. You could have some crystals to help harmonize the energy around it. And then, when you're ready, you can put your vessel down onto the altar. This is your little sacred space that you can come to whenever you feel overwhelmed with feelings of grief and loss. This is the place that you can go to to honor your loved ones. And if you want to, you can imagine not just one chair for yourself at this altar, but possibly a second chair if you do like the idea of staying in communication with your loved one. Whenever you come to this altar, you can pull out a chair for them and allow them to join you. Allow them to be here with you and to provide you comfort or guidance, whatever it is that you seek. And I'll leave some time for you now in case you want to call upon your loved one now and sit with them for a little while so you can do that.
there's anything that you want to tell them or ask them, you can do so now. It's hard for you to get a response from them. Maybe it takes a little while. Sometimes you have to come back to this place a couple of times to really strengthen the connection. But just remain open. Maybe their answer will come to you during the day, through synchronicities, repeating numbers or a passage in a book that you read feel free to pause the video and remain in this space for a little while longer if you want to but when you're ready give your loved one a big hug Know that you can always come back to this space and that they're always here to look over you. Alright. Slowly walk away from the altar. Take a look at the scene in front of you the altar, the chairs, the vessel, and then allow the scene to slowly collapse onto itself as if you're folding a paper. Until it folds down into a very small size. And you pick it up and slowly place it into your heart. This space that you've created is now part of your being. It is intrinsically part of you. And you can go back to this space whenever you want. You can always unfold it again in front of you. So, take a moment now to come back to the present reality. Allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. Don't hold back. To ground the energy again. So it really helps to have either your feet on the floor or if you're laying down, just become really aware of the back side of your body touching the surface below you. And whatever part of you is touching the ground below you or the surface below you, Allow roots to shoot down from those parts of your body that are touching the surface below you. Imagine the roots slowly penetrating down into the earth, going deeper, deeper, and deeper. Grounding you back into this present day reality here on earth. Grounding you back into your earthly body. And allow any sort of 
excess energy that you feel to be drained down those roots. If you feel like you're lacking some energy, you can also imagine energy being pulled up from your root system, allowing the earth's energy to enter your body, to harmonize your field, to nourish you energetically. Reconnecting to Mother Earth. Reconnecting to the present moment. You are here. And then to set in all of this energy. I'm going to scan your body one last time with the selenite wand to allow the healing that has taken place to sink in deeper to become a part of your being and also to allow any of the energy that you drew up from the earth to really settle in and become part of you as well I'll be using both of my selenite sticks to gently scan and sort of comb through your field. Allow everything to settle in, to ground in. And know that at any time when the feelings of grief are becoming too overwhelming, you can go back to your altar, pour your pain into the vessel, allow the vessel to expand and expand until it feels like you can breathe again, like you have space again. And of course, at any time. You can make contact with anyone from the other side. Whether you just want to check in to know if they're safe and doing well, or whether you want some guidance, some of their wisdom. So, everything is beautifully set in now. I hope you enjoyed this Reiki healing session. I hope that it gave you some comfort and some relaxation. I'll see you guys very, very soon for another video. Bye.